My worst nightmare when I realized I was pregnant was going back to that stage of breaking out. My last two pregnancies <laughs> My last two pregnancies were I think not my last, my only pregnancies, the only two that I've carried were my worst. Mm -hmm. And I knew this one for sure, I am going back to that. I have skin routine, I have products, my skin is glowing, I'm doing well, and then boom, I am pregnant. And the gym. I went to the gym, I went to the gym, So I used to look at myself in mirror every other single day. You know, and all that. But I thank God, as in right now, my testimony to every pregnancy is different. You know, my last two pregnancies, of course, but a breakouts and all that. But this one, Aki, the grace of God. Do you know how it is? Ukitambio kwa inja na ma breakouts. Ato kwa na pimpol moja inaza kwa kusumbua as a lady. So, you can imagine me in the corner of poor, na tan, na kwam dark, na kwam pimples. You could barely could not even recognize me. But, I can God. We have spoken on pregnancies and breakups, but Auntie Mado is here with the pregnancy and without breakouts. And here is to why the beauty mogul, social media influencer, mother of two and the plus plus, wife and name it all, is relieved that this round her pregnancy has led to some intense glow in her body, soul and mind. Through her social media account, Diana Mara has expressed so much joy in her new look. She wrote these and I open quote. Pregnancy glow. One thing about this pregnancy, no breakouts. You all know how I looked on the last pregnancy and it took a while for it to disappear after birth. Comorock Modern, we are coming very soon. And of course, while mentioning her last pregnancy, Diana Marua said she had intense skin breakout, especially after giving birth to her son Majesty, making her face swollen, looking pale or pink and some point with the pimples that burst out with pus. The mother to Majesty and Heaven Bahati cried hysterically in the video, adding that she had had enough for her skin with hyperpigmentations and pimples all over her body up to her chest area. Not forgetting that she was getting into the limelight and running her TV reality show, Diana was very cautious with her look to avoid facing backlash and criticisms from the media and specifically netizens. She says she became so insecure, low self-esteem and walking to the grocery shop became harder for her. In the 34 minutes video, Marwa narrated that October in that year was the worst moment of her life due to her battle with hormonal imbalance and allergies caused by products she was using to cure her facial breakouts. Miss Marwa went on to say that amidst her struggles with acne, someone DM'd her offering her soap and cream with the promise that it will do magic on her face in two weeks. Little did she know that the products she had been offered could worsen her situation after an indication that she was doing better. She was forced to go to hospital where she was referred to a skin specialist who attended to her. Fast forward now to Dee who is currently waiting for her third child. They had to touch on a hit maker and the man of her life Bahati had announced the third pregnancy in a new music video. Her fans who are also patiently waiting for her birth of the child rushed to the comment section to shower some love on Diana. One wrote D, you always look cute mommy. Your loving heart is why you are blessed. I was so happy to meet Bahati. He is loyal and humbled, very lovely. End of quote. I've never followed you. Call me your titties. Oh, Gaubina claps back at presenter Lee after allegations that he unfollowed him after an interview he did with Oh, Gaubina's baby mama. The Kiss 100 presenter is held broke loose after the digital media interviewer had a sit down with Mama Delola earlier this week. According to Obina, his baby mama is deceptive and nobody should give her a listening ear at all. In a rejoined on the interview, the comedian through the Obina's YouTube channel has castigated the allegations peddled by her baby mama that he did not want house girls so as to burden Mama Lola with work. Mama Lola has also gone ahead to say that all the assets Obina is enjoying were financed by a sugar mama. So here, mambo ikikuja kubadilika hapo yo November, nika realize Obina Shapata sponsor. Oga Obina is back in the headlines after his baby mama came out and accused him of more messiness and involving their children in the mix of his shenanigans. She further said that Obina was using online trolls to bully her. Mama Delola accused Obina of being the reason their child has sunk into depression, saying he was being partisan in how he was treating his kids. 
insisting she was going to fight for her child. In response, Obina said he had chosen not to respond to the accusations laid on him, saying he doesn't take fights with women and cares for his kids. The comedian Ogo Bina has also been accused by his baby mama of mistreating her and subjecting her to hefty online criticisms following his recent sentiments on women having tattoos on their body. Presenters Ali's comments have been followed by mixed reactions with Eddie Mudita saying Mapenzi ni kama siasa Ali, chagua mapema uko opposition, ama serikali with YY comedian saying Ali ku follow Gia Fresh content. Uh, mothers with infants, yeah. I don't know. Come on, in the in the meyona kiabu sana sana. Mothers with infants, yeah. Watoto adogo wa wale wana nyonya. Now there is a problem. Me, me na juu watoto adogo baada ya kunyonya. Alafu you wind them. Ana ana kuwa ana ana belge. Yeah? Alafu ana ana kuwa na nini hiccups. Most of them ana zako na hiccups. Uh, most of mothers, but then I come nyonya sate na dio hiccup ije. What they do is they have an um, a small paper like this, half one I'm working it up. Yeah. Now, if you are a doctor and you're watching this video, please, can you just comment and tell us what is the magic behind this karatasi kwa mtoto mdogo by ana hiccup? Tafadhali. We need to help each other because it must be, it might be magical. Inaweza kuwa ni kitu tunaweza uza hata China. Labda the, the world over is waiting for this technology. Yeah, only mothers know how it works. Now, I can't believe now and then I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't know how it works. Please help us. Please, come out of the medical field. There's a difference between someone having a dog and a pet dog. And it is all in the conversation. Conversation, how you converse. Yeah, if you have a pet dog, you talk to it uh, using words like sit. Come, good boy, I'll give you a biscuit, roll over, on your two feet. I mean, those are the languages. You know the conversation. In a kuwaga, shika, sa, busko, kwada, toka peje. Conversation like this one. Yeah, I hope I will make his mistake ten going forward. Thank you. Man, man, I tell you, eh? this, this is from the bottom of my heart. Look, never, and I repeat, never compliment food in your home that you have no idea who has cooked. Jana nilikuja kubani, ya? Nikuigia, nikakula hapo nyama. And I complimented your nyama. Nikaza kusema hii, agalia, hii nyama, mwani alipika, nifugiwe, nitaela na ya job, kesho, nikamuone shane. Nayo <laughs> Meza, meza pali ya chini kama ya pako vanish Iyo, iyo testi ya bao, iyo de chakula tunakula le Na nimeenda kuuliza house manager uli wa kitabu wako hapi Nika angaliwa, ni kama, kama chepukati ya liagaliwa na nini na le dama Ata nika sewa hii Nisi ena ubaya mimi, chakula tukula Please, wanaume, ne never compliment food ya baya ujui Nani ya mepika kwako, sawa Jua ni, ya, ni ya house manager amepika, jifanya tui, mekosa chuvi. Yeah, just do your thing.